everyone, Susie. Today is my great honor to invite Dr. Peter Zhou to discuss Huawei Ocean Store Storage. Peter Zhou is the president of the Data Storage and the Intelligent Vision product line. Hello, Peter. Hi, Susie. So I heard that Huawei Ocean Store Storage right now is number one in the Chinese market mm -hmm. and enjoys the fastest growth rate in the whole world. Exactly. Even in such difficult situation, Huawei storage globally in this year, first half of this year, we really got uh, great achievement. Mm -hmm. The global increasement of our business, uh, even beyond the 40 percentage. Uh, definitely in Chinese market, in terms of the marketing share, we are number one. Great. So today, let's talk about Huawei Ocean Store Storage in more detail, and especially how it has achieved such great success. And before we start, let's go to Chengdu, where the largest Huawei Ocean Store Storage R&D is located. Let's enjoy the video clip. Huawei Storage Research began in 2002 and is now a vast and powerful research network with 12 research centers in North America, Russia, Europe, India, and China. The largest center is located in Chengdu, China. The Chengdu Research Center was founded with openness, vision, dedication, and passion to bring digital to every person, home, and organization for a fully connected, intelligent world. The 5,000 square meters of the Chengdu Storage Lab hold 2,666 cabinets with 15,000 storage devices and tools for remote data storage, R&D, storage solution verification, and interoperability verification. The digital management and O&M platform of the lab was built for high efficiency, energy economy, and security to provide global R&D engineers with instant environment services 24-7. The platform precisely locates devices and automatically manages device health for remote O&M, multidimensional statistics, and real-time O&M maps, creating a panoramic data view for lab management. The lab infrastructure features a sleek design to maximize energy efficiency and expansion. Inspection robots work with a streamlined staff of O&M engineers to provide environment services for global R&D. The digital management and O&M platform also allows concurrent verification and demonstration of different features and solutions such as flash acceleration, backup and disaster recovery, data migration and video surveillance solutions. Huawei customers trust its active, active solution due to its superb performance, robust reliability, and abundant features. It has been successfully deployed in over 800 environments worldwide. Huawei's data migration solution supports simulated verification and customization. It has successfully helped more than 2,000 customers relocate zettabytes of data. Interoperability between products from different vendors is a priority for R&D engineers. Huawei established its industry-leading storage open lab in 2006 and has continuously invested hundreds of millions of dollars to resolve these compatibility issues. The lab features 5,000 software and hardware products from third parties, including more than 900 operating system versions, 100 server series, 150 host HVAs, and 140 switch models. It also contains thousands of backup, network management, clustering, database software, and hardware driver products. The lab has verified over 10 million scenarios and uploaded the results to the Huawei website for public review. Huawei has received certifications from more than 1,000 third-party vendors. Huawei Storage has applied hard work and continuous innovation to grow step-by-step step into an industry leader. It now has 12 research centers, over 4,000 research engineers, membership in more than 30 international organizations, and more than 2,000 storage patents to serve more than 12,000 customers worldwide. Huawei Ocean Store. Ubiquitous storage unleashes data power. Well, that's indeed very impressive. So the video clip just now mentions a variety of really innovative technologies such as Active, Active, Smartmetric, and EC. So for financial systems specifically, what are some main features for storage systems? Right, in financial industry, uh, we really need uh, the storage system being reliable with really high performance 
On the other hand, they also need to be cost effective. For example, in core banking system, we need uh, the system to be reliable. On the other hand, since the international um, and also internet transaction today happening so frequently, we need it to be uh, really fast, that kind of higher performance. On the other hand, for example, in the risk prevention scenario, we also need a storage system being cost effective. Mm -hmm. Right, so the video demonstrates in detail a lot of technical achievements of our Huawei Ocean Store storage. Mm -hmm. However, what are some innovations of the business model of our system? In our system, we have two main business models. Uh, the first one is called effective capacity. Today, if you buy house, for example, you know, you really pay the money in terms of the, um, how big the area is. In Huawei storage system, uh, the effective capacity means if you buy 100 meter square that kind of house, really you could have uh, 200 square meter, even 500 square meter that kind of effective area to, 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 to enjoy it. On the other hand, uh, um, the fresh air, that kind of new business model also really uh, amazing. Uh, in the before, when the storage system become old, we need to uh, swap it. On the other hand, we need uh, migrating all the data from this machine to the new machine. It's really costful. So today, our equipment can support uh, our customer to change the parts gradually and also to upgrade the software smoothly. Therefore, it can prolong and protect their investment. On the other hand, they don't need to worry about uh, to migrating the data from this machine to another one, really, so that will be really cost effective. Wow, incredible. So for the next step, how will our Huawei Ocean Store storage develop in the future? We will never stop innovating. Um, we will try to introduce more innovation on media application, on artificial intelligence, and even more innovation on architecture, you will see more new product being announced in this year later. So Peter has been showing us the next direction of innovation for Huawei Ocean Store Storage. Now let's go to visit Olympus Innovation Lab in Shenzhen. Now we are at Olympus Storage Lab. To achieve cost-effectiveness, storage products are facing many world-class challenges. The Huawei Olympus Storage Innovation Technology Lab is a place to research core storage technology in the future. Today, I'm going to show you three of these technologies, P-Log SSD, Artificial Intelligent Storage, and DNA Storage. Please follow me. Let's look at the difference between traditional SSD and a P-Log SSD. Traditional SSD are accessed by LBA. Data access requires multiple times mapping, parsing, and forwarding. Therefore, the software stack is thick and end-to-end -end latency is high. P-Log SSD is purpose-built for flash storage. It provides low latency with high-speed SSD interface. Compared with traditional interface, the latency of P-Log SSD is only one-tenth, and the performance is improved by 10 times. Huawei customized P-Log Schematics, which completes address mapping and metadata search at one time, which dramatically reduces overhead cost by multiple address mapping. Huawei self-development NIX implement data bypass CPU to access from SSD, avoiding the latency caused by the system scheduling, data copy, and migration. In addition, the POSIX interface provided by the P-Log adapter are fully compatible with traditional applications without any changes for application. Latency is very important for storage, and a good catch refresh algorithm would improve the performance drastically. In this figure, the horizontal axis indicates time, the vertical axis indicates data block address, and the white dots show how much data are accessing the system. Now let's enable the common prefetch algorithm. 
The blue dots indicate catch hits. You can see only a few data blocks are hit. Then let's enable our AI algorithm. The green dots indicate his hits, and uh, you can see how much more green dots than blue ones. With a higher hit ratio, the system latency becomes lower and lower. The diagram in the lower left corner shows that the green curve of our, our AI perfect algorithm obviously surpasses the blue curve of the common perfect algorithm. The AI algorithm is superior than we are continue to improve due to its ability to independently learn workload patterns. The lower right corner shows the effect comparison between the two algorithms and clearly illustrates the AI for Huawei storage. Data is growing exponentially. DNA storage uses a stable structure for molecule level storage. We are working on chemical DNA synthesis, control optimization, encoding, and decoding. This research shows huge potentials. DNA storage will offer the following advantages. It will provide a storage density that is a million times than disk. Six kilograms of DNA will be able to store 175 zigabytes which are the whole world data of 2025. The retention period is more than 100 years, 20 times longer than the common disk. It can be easily preserved in a dry environment under room temperature. Huawei Olympus Lab committed to build an open and cooperative research platform. It employs top experts in cooperation with the worldwide universities including ETH, EPFL, Tsinghua University, Huazhong University of Science and Technology, and the China Academy of Science, etc. Wow, that is a really impressive facility. So why was it named Olympus Lab? Um, Olympus Mountain is the highest mountain in the solar system, mm -hmm. even two times higher than Everest on Earth. We try to use this as a slogan to stimulate our R&D guys to achieve more innovative ideas to uh, create much better uh, performance and create values for our customer. Wow, really. So does Huawei carry out its research by itself or in collaboration with others? Right. Um, the laboratory basically is really focusing on the research topics for long term, for example, uh, beyond uh, three years. We are doing quite wide collaboration with institutions and also a lot of universities. Uh, these labs basically are quite open. We welcome those uh, researchers in different institutions and uh, universities to join us to facing the common uh, target to really achieve uh, more innovations for better storage systems. Okay, we're almost at the end of our presentation. It was a really pleasure talking to you today. Look forward to learning more about Huawei Ocean Store Storage. I'm also appreciate to have this opportunity to provide an introduction on Huawei Ocean Store Storage. Uh, on the other hand, I also would like to invite everyone to visit us locally and then to really experience our strong willingness to provide the best product. Look forward to it. Thank you.